federal law forbids that's forbids sale or you reuse of this bottle the driveway a ways off the side and I had noticed uh, when I was cleaning around the apple tree all of these really cool springs it's from a seat a truck or a car or something some kind of a seat so these are just rusty who knows how long these have been here there's rusty springs but I do crafts and I think I can do something with these if not I could sell them for a couple bucks these are authentic springs man these are the actual honest to goodness stuff that's just been in the ground so uh i'm just gonna let the chickens pick at it because there's a lot of dirt and roots and stuff all grown into it so they can go ahead and pick at it for a little bit and then i'm near the faucet so i'm going to be able to just take them and rinse them off little by little they came it came apart in pieces so this is one of the pieces so there's quite a few springs here be able to do something with that and if not we can throw it back in the hole i guess here on the side of the driveway this is the driveway truck so I'm over here uh, Scott saw something sticking out of the dirt over here and it was green and not a normal green and he said honey I think there's a bottle over there so I came over and I checked it out and I'll show you that in a minute but I got digging around and this just there's a mound of dirt here and uh, mind you we bought this place seven six and a half years ago seven years ago I lose track but anyway we're just starting to explore a little bit and things are starting to get uncovered around here that we're not used to seeing and so digging around i found a few things here i got over there is chicken wire hopefully you can see that great big wide chicken wire some of it's rusted that may i may be able to use in crafts as well but i found this stuff as well so I think there was, I think these are skis to like a toboggan or something. That's what they look like. Of course the wood's gone now because this has been here for a long time. But I think that's what that is. It's too buried. I can't pull it all out. But there's like this orangey leathery material that looks like it would be the seat. Um, so I think that's what that is. But I found this stuff. I found this old grate because I think there was a stove in here or there is. I got this really cool bottle. So get the lid on, there's still, there's liquid in there. Who knows what that is? And then, I don't know, Let's see if I can figure out, Let's see if I can read that. Re, reuse of this bottle reuse of this bottle federal law 
forbids sale. Federal law forbids, that's forbids, sale or reuse of this bottle. But this is a really cool brown amber bottle. Look at how cool that is. I'm assuming it's a liquor bottle maybe. I'll have to clean it up and figure it out. But So also the reason why I thought there was a stove here is because I got this big round piece. It's got the little thing there where you, you know, you pick it up so that you can put firewood in. See that side? It's got a crack in it, but it's still really cool. It's still, it's all one piece. So that's in just digging a little bit in here. There's a lot of broken glasses. Lots of broken glass in here. Um, some old wood. Like this is wood in here. Um, and there, I go to pull it out and it just flakes away. See? But that's something in there. Wood, but it's just deteriorating. But I thought that was pretty cool. I'm going to see what else I can find. And I'll show you guys that green bottle when I go back over to the truck. I'm going to see what else I can dig up. This goes a ways. Like this, this is all mounded up. All the way over there and all the way over there. So this all could be like an old trash pile where people used to come and throw their trash. But now it's like really cool trash. <laughs> There's lots of rusty stuff. Uh, some of it's no good, but... You know, some of it may be cool to use on something. But anyway, so I've got exploring to do. Like, this is all mounted up over here. You probably can't tell on screen. Um, but this is all mounted up here, so God only knows what's in here. Just for a couple minutes of digging, I found all that. Um, but it's all roots and packed down, so it's really hard to, to figure it out. Um, what's what. But anyway, I'll see if I can find anything else in here. And I'll show you. So this is what I found after a few minutes of digging. Got this one, the last thing. It's got a chipped little spout there, but I may be able to fix that. It's a pretty cool color. It's like a gold, gold brown color. It's pretty cool. I didn't see the lid. And I just found this one. And these, these two are the newest. That's blue. And this one says, same thing, federal law forbids sale or reuse of this bottle. So, that's got a crack in it. Not too bad. Pretty cool. And stove lid and grate. Who knows? Cool stuff.
So one of the other cool things we found was uh, one of the big piles of dirt uh, was just dirt. There was nothing in there. So Scott started digging with the tractor and he bought up, brought up about, I, don't, I think it was four or five loads with the tractor and piled it all here right by the garden and the compost kind of in between. So this is gonna be really good to put in the garden. We usually order dirt. We may not have to this year. If I mix it, I wanted to show you guys with my compost and I know it looks like a mess. The chickens have been kind of uh, turning it over for me, but right here, or maybe not right here. I guess it's right here. Yeah, it goes right down in. Let's see if I can show you. Look down in there. That's dirt. That's compost that has been turned to dirt. See that? Basically, that's dirt. So that's going to go. I'm going to stir this all up. And the chickens have been helping me here. But I'm going to take loads and loads of this and mix it in my cart, my my gorilla cart or whatever it is. It's like a gorilla cart. I guess I got it at tractor, so it's not a gorilla cart. But anyway, I'm going to take that and mix it with the dirt over by the garden and start filling in my beds where they've gone down. That's one thing about raised beds is when you... Uh, have raised beds they compost down whatever's underneath and they the dirt needs to be replaced not fully let's find a piece of glass in there I guess I better watch out but if you can see some of the beds like this one here and that one all need to have some more dirt put in them need to be refilled and then of course all my uh you know big large containers my this is my carrot container that needs to be refilled and then i'm going to have some grow bags things like that see down here some of that's the chickens dust bathing and stuff but that's got to have some dirt in it but um so that's a really awesome find is to find this dirt down there and it looks really good so we're going to be able to mix that with the compost we have a extended family member that has cows and she's overrun with manure and uh, she said that i can have whatever i want so we're going over there hopefully this coming weekend to get that maybe i'll do a little videoing over there if she doesn't mind i'll show you the cows and whatever she's got over there. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna go get some poop from her and mix all that in together. And I think that's gonna make some really awesome dirt to grow in, fill our grow bags, top off our beds, and we are going to be ready. What are you guys doing? not treat time or is it look who found the big coop mama and the babies did you find a big coop <laughs> what are you doing you think you're big coop
Bye. Bye.